uh, to tell you that this is one of the most advanced lithium projects worldwide. In just uh, three years, we have gone from discovery to feasibility, and we are now in the process of the final financing for mine construction. Lithium, in this case, is uh, found in um, the Puna Plateau that actually hosts about half of the lithium uh, uh, resources and reserves in the world. And we actually have the six uh, biggest lithium project worldwide. We are fully permitted with all the, the mineral property in place and one of the few companies in the world that owns an entire salar, meaning the entire resource uh, then, uh, belongs uh, to the company. Most of the salars are the places where the lithium is found as brines and are shared uh, among several companies, but we actually own one entire. This is showing you the grade. It's actually the core of this uh, salar is the second highest grade project in the entire world. Um, just for time, I will go, this is the resource reserve estimation. We have enough resource to sustain mining for 35 years. So 35 years of resources of the second highest grade project worldwide, okay? Very difficult to match. We already produce lithium carbonate. This is the final product, still at technical grade. And we have a full pilot plant that goes from the original brine all the way to final production, okay, of lithium carbonate. At pilot scale, this is one in 600 of the final size, okay? Uh, we, our feasibility study, have uh, provided uh, numbers to this project so you understand what we are talking about. It's a $1.1 billion project with an internal rate of return after tax of almost 50%. Very few projects in the world have an internal rate of return of that. Our payback is about, um, uh, le it's less than two years, and uh, we uh, will produce 20,000 tons a year, okay? Which today is about 10% of the world output, but by the time we put this in production, it's gonna be rather about 5% of the world output. Our cash operating cost is less than $3,000 for a product that today sells for $10,000. When you compare it with any mining project, this is making money. This is a money maker and a company maker, okay? Uh, this is uh, a little bit of information about our stock. Very importantly, we have plenty of cash in our treasure. We have over $35 million in our treasure, okay? So we are not raising money or looking for money. What we are doing nowadays is looking for, and this is a bit of us, we are looking for partners that actually uh, will finance uh, the mine construction. And by the way, um, we have plenty of candidates and we are going through the selection process that will unveil actually very soon. So. This mineral project is probably the best lithium project worldwide when you talk about grade, second best in the world. The first one is in production. In size, is very big, it's the sixth, it's not the biggest, but it's the sixth biggest, so it's extremely, I mean, very well position uh, in terms of size. Um, the entire technology to develop the project, or the product, sorry, is, is totally done. So it's, it's a technology that is um, well known and fully developed in our own uh, laboratories and in our, in our own uh, facilities, okay? We fully own this project, 100%, you know? And uh, our team is the same team that actually has done before Lithium Americas, which is today a mine in construction. So this is not the first lithium project that we are bringing into production. As a matter of fact, this is the second one, okay? Um, very few teams uh, can show um, such a um, achievement, okay? These are just, oh, I, passed too, I passed too fast. These are just a couple of pictures. So in my remaining time, you actually can see a little bit of how the area looks like. Salars are basically porous rocks 
composed of salt, and inside that salt you find the brine. These projects are somewhat similar to oil and gas, but instead of taking the liquid from, from, from thousands of meters at depth, you are taking the liquid from a few meters at depth. So the resource is basically on surface, okay? So I'm actually open for, uh, for, for questions uh, if somebody has uh, any information. These are just pictures showing in general, you know, where the lithium is located, uh, come from our appendix. Any questions? Yes. So given the, uh, the mining that and the back and forth, uh, is there any risk of any further um, yeah. prohibitions or anything? Yeah, very good question, actually. Um, actually, the issues with lithium legislations are in Chile, but not in Argentina. Uh, Chile has a very restrictive law when it comes to mining lithium, and Bolivia have a worse law when it comes to lithium. Argentina is totally free in that sense. In other words, for free, what I mean is what you find is what you get and what you rent export. It has an, an, and we have already 30 years of tax stability. So the government cannot raise taxes uh, for us for the next 30 years. Just to have an idea what taxes are in Argentina, uh, income taxes for, yeah, well, it's 25% for companies. Uh, royalties is 3%. Um, then there is an IVA tax of, uh, or IVA is a uh, VAT tax of 10%. So actually it's very favorable, very favorable mining law. We already own the mineral property. It doesn't belong to the government, it belongs to us. We already have the right to use the surface for mining and the right to use the roads for mining. So when it comes to mining law and permits and taxations, uh, the project is absolutely safe. And how much would it be take to cost uh, to uh, do the actual mine? How much money are you looking for? Yes, it's $320 million that this mine will cost. Um, as I say, we, we have in the treasure $35 million, and uh, we are in a negotiation process with multiple partners uh, for actually finance the project in exchange of project equity. We will not uh, dilute a company equity. Um, I'm personally the largest individual shareholder, like a person. Other shareholders in the company institutions that own a large portion are JP Morgan, BlackRock, uh, Manulife, uh, uh, Royal Bank of Canada, so very big funds. Um, so uh, basically answering your question is $320 million. Thank you. For evaporations other than sun? Uh, yes, uh, that's a good question because evaporate, there, there are today five lithium brine mines in the world, only, only five. Four use simple evaporation, which means evaporate the brine, let it concentrate until 5%, and when you have a 5, 6% evaporated brine, you go through a process called carbonatation that all mines in the world do the same thing. So when you sell lithium carbonate, you buy the carbonate. We don't, nobody has the carbonate. So that process is a standard, okay? So you can bench from the bench. The evaporation can be done only in projects where evaporation can actually occur, okay? So we are using the same technology that you will see in Albermer or SQM or Orocover or others, okay? So no, no particular differences. We can go into the details, but because of the time, we should catch up outside. Um, there is only one mine that is using other technology, uh, which is Levent. Um, they use ion exchange, and it's a more expensive technology. And they are doing an expansion now using traditional technology, which is telling you very clearly that traditional technology is today the king, is the cheapest way to produce lithium carbonate. Yeah, good point. Very importantly, explain. Lithium carbonate is easy to transport. Uh, lithium hydroxide is very expensive to transport because it's hydroscopic. So you cannot transport by sea without actually having a 100% seal. And also, it has a very short lived timeline. So for anybody trying to do lithium hydroxide uh, in South America, it's, it's, it's a bad idea. The best is do lithium hydroxide 
in the place where you are going to build the battery, if that place is China, Korea, or whatever, and do the carbonate at the site. That is what we are planning to do. We are going to build carbonate, battery grade, send, ship the carbonate, and if it is a requirement for a drug site, do the conversion plant, which, by the way, is off the bench. is a very simple technology, well known. You can literally buy a plant and put it. You don't need to invent anything. Uh, and this is the way the world is going, um, not to produce lithium hydroxide in your own spot. I went too fast. One, one and a half minutes more. <laughs> No. In other words, if you are wondering about Macri and, and the Peronists, uh, by the way, just for reference, um, the municipality where we work is Peronist, like has been for whatever, so many years. The provincial government is Peronist. Uh, so for us, because mining rights are from the provinces, not from the national, we have been working with them since day one. On top of that, just as a reference, I, I met personally with a candidate for a Peronist party, um, actually two weeks ago, um, for what it, you know, obviously that politician promises, you know, but he assures, uh, but we have been working with the Peronists since day one, okay? So I understand that there is a long political debate that we can have about which one will favor more the economy in one way or another, but for mining purposes, for our project and for the re for all the permits that we already have in place and everything else, all of them have done with the Peronists. So that's not an issue for us at all. The of the lithium is, uh, yeah. how easy is that? Uh, we don't have any offtake because we don't want an offtake and for two reasons. Because I am in, in, in advanced negotiations with parties, part of that negotiation is the offtake. So shall I take an offtake with, with, with somebody? I, I don't want an offtake that doesn't, I want to build the mine. Therefore, the offtake has to come with building the entire mine. Is today, for battery grade, there is, and we have at least 10 major chemical companies that require battery grade lithium carbonate offtakes. There is a shortage of battery grade lithium carbonate. And there is an oversupply of, of, of what it is called technical grade or low quality uh, lithium carbonate in the world. So there is, believe me, no shortage of need of the battery grade product. Now in zero. Good. Very good. Thank you very much, General.